that by whose aid the world's foundation first were laid. Alleluia, alleluia. Give us thyself that we may see the Father and the Son by three. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God, and of peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God, and the Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh, and the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church and every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, are not all of these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, 
though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All adoration ever be Eternal paraclete to thee The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, one of the one of the great symbols of Pentecost is the flame. This, uh, this fire of the Holy Spirit. And it's something that, something that is always spoken to me because it, it, is, it is something that was transformed, this image in our minds, by, by what, it, uh, what it represented in Pentecost, in this gift of the Holy Spirit. It was something that, that God had, had been trying to show people. For a long, long time. And we, we see this in the Old Testament. The burning bush was not consumed. That the, the flame that should have gone out lasted for eight days at Hanukkah. You know, we, have, we have these images that, uh, that show 
what this flame of the Holy Spirit is supposed to tell us. That this is something that, that isn't going to consume us or consume anything, but it is, it is going to give life. It's going to continue burning on within our hearts. And it's not, it's not going to need that feeding that a natural flame would. We use flames all the time in, in candles and, and so forth, you know, all, all over in churches. This is a, an important symbol for us to see all the time. But of course, this is still something of this world. These are not miraculous candles. You know, the, these are really quite ordinary in many, many ways. They're showing us this symbol to point us toward that flame of Pentecost, that flame of the Holy Spirit that enlivens our hearts and spurs us on. We might see this most clearly in the hearts of some of the great saints. Maybe, um, maybe one of the most poignant examples is that of Mother Teresa. St. Teresa was, uh, was someone who was continually spurred on by the Holy Spirit, even though there was nothing in this world that gave her satisfaction, even though there was nothing in this world that consoled her that she was doing the right thing. Everything in, in this world was was slowly fading away from her life. And there wasn't a whole lot in her ministry that, that we could say built her up. For many people, that would be a, a life that they consumed them. And keeping with our theme today, many people burn out after a life of giving, after a life of service, after all of the hard work over decades, many people do burn out. But Mother Teresa never did. The Holy Spirit was the flame within her heart. The Holy Spirit needed nothing, certainly nothing of this world, but nothing did it need to give that energy, to provide the amount of joy that this great saint needed. And she was able to live her life completely according to what, what God willed her to do, and live her life in a way that, that was fulfilling because she placed her heart completely in the care of the Spirit. May we all, in whatever, in whatever ways we struggle, find a way to allow the Holy Spirit to be our heart. Allow the Holy Spirit to be the flame that, that truly does spur us on. Because there's nothing else that will continually give us that energy. There is nothing else that will always give us joy. And in the many times in our lives when there is no happiness to be found, that joy which only the Holy Spirit can give to us is the only thing that will do us any good. Let us, therefore, prepare our hearts by a real relationship with the Holy Spirit. And hopefully one day, make God's will ours. Allow God's will through that relationship to take over our will. Then that joy will be complete and there will be absolutely no way for us to ever burn out.
Brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father and the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one and Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of Father before all, all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. for the forgiveness of sins. Now I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now turn to our Heavenly Father with our prayers. For the church. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide and protect her during this season and magnify her light of truth and goodness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders and public officials, may they be filled with wisdom and reflecting the truth of God in their decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For those carrying crosses in their daily lives, may Christ make his presence known to them with hope and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here and for those that cannot gather with us, may the Lord always help us to have the courage to follow Christ through sacrifice to the fullness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have died and those who will die today, may they rest in the peace of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we lift up these, our prayers to you, and ask that you grant them according to your will. And we lift up all of our loved ones. May you draw them ever closer to yourself and show them your face one day in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
drink and pour us in place. Come be our soul and blood of life in the breath blessed, broken and shared. Christ is our life whose presence we bear. Come, O oh Spirit, make your grace revealed in this holy meal. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestow Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. The same spirit as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of and brought together the many of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome Paschal joy, every land, every land exults in your praise. Meet with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to us, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the whole Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, be on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Brothers and sisters, I do have a, a few announcements. Uh, first of all, what, what uh, most people are, are uh, wondering about the most, of course, is when we are going to open up Church for Mass, and that, uh, that I cannot answer uh, to you for sure. This week, however, uh, both of our parishes will be uh, opening up for some time of, of private prayer. Um, I, I do have a, a funeral on, on Tuesday. Uh, for those of you who have, uh, who have not yet heard, Mike Schneider uh, passed away on Friday. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Of course, because of, uh, of Mike's funeral, uh, that, uh, that certainly has changed my schedule for this week. So, uh, so it, it might be as soon as, as Wednesday uh, that, uh, that we're able to, uh, to have uh, both churches open, some during the day uh, uh, or evenings for private prayer time. Uh, those, those days and times will be announced as, as soon as we can. Uh, even today, uh, already this morning, I was working on flushing some water lines and some of those things that we have to... Uh, done to get the buildings going again. Uh, in the meantime, you know, please do, uh, please do pay attention to what, uh, what's being said on our websites and, and Facebook, that, that type of thing. That's where you'll see those, those announcements uh, come first and spread the word, of course, when you do hear. I will, uh, uh, I will simply end on a, on a cheery note uh, the, to congratulate uh, Addison and Emily Spear. Uh, married this weekend. Uh, uh, certainly a, a nice thing to be able to celebrate something joyful during this time. Of Congratulations, Addison and Emily. Lord be with you. With your, with your spirit. spirit. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing, and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. And may God, who has, who has been pleased to unite many tongues, in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.
ignited by the fire still burn